What's up everyone? It's Natalie here and today I am filming another college related video that you guys have missed so much because you guys have been asking me to do another one of these. <laughs> this video I am going to be talking about why girls should go into engineering more, why I feel like there's not that many and why it kind of has a stereotype of engineering being like a guy's field or like a man's world, you know? All those things are so not true and that shouldn't stop you guys from going into an engineering field and also I just want to share with you guys my experience as a girl in a engineering major and my other videos that I have are why I chose engineering and what engineering like is about like all about my classes and stuff like that so I'm gonna have both of those linked down below so that you guys can see them because I will be touching on some things I talked about in there but not everything if you guys are new to my channel please be sure to subscribe if this is the first video that you're seeing of me I do a lot of college lifestyle related videos so I do makeup videos and fashion videos but I also like to sit down and talk to you guys about this like about my major and about college and real world things so I also did a little outline on my phone so that I can like keep my thoughts and like not ramble because I tend to do that so I'll start this video off by telling you guys some statistics that I found about women in STEM fields. So the first one is that women hold nearly half of all the jobs in the workplace, but only hold less than 25% of STEM jobs. So even though women are 50% of the workplace in the United States, only we only hold 25% of actual STEM fields. So obviously it's not equal, which it may never be equal, but I feel like that's like a very, very large gap. Um, engineering is the least common STEM major for women. So even women that are in STEM, only 14% of them are in engineering. So a lot of the other ones are more in healthcare or education with like the sciences and stuff like that. Also the reason why a lot of women are not in engineering, which I guess this isn't really a fact, it's just more of like a study of what this website did, but they said lack of female role models, gender stereotyping, less fa family friendly flexibility in STEM fields. So later on in this video, I'm just going to kind of like break those down and tell you guys why the none of those should stop you if that is your reason. I wanted to share with you guys my personal experience of being a girl in engineering and stuff that I really haven't talked about before and also if you're having any questions or any doubts about going into it I just want to share with you guys my personal experience. For those of you guys who don't know I am an industrial engineering major so a lot of people call it the imaginary engineering or the not really engineering like blah 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 whatever it's it still is, like call it what you want. The reason I chose to go into that field, which I do have a whole video on that, but the reason why, in a nutshell, why I chose to do that was because I knew that I wanted to one day start my own business. That's kind of like the end goal for me, was to one day start my own business, or if I don't start my own business, to work in a more business related field and in a job that was constantly evolving, not just like a standard like cubicle job or like a manufacturing job or anything like that. So the reason I chose that was because industrial is more of like a business engineering, I would say. We have a lot of business related classes. We do have to take some business classes and we also had to take like product development classes and stuff like that where we did like market research even. So I really, really liked that part of it. But but what I loved, which I know many of you guys are probably like, why didn't you go into business then, is because I wanted to get the analytical background and I also wanted it to be a little more challenging for me and for me to kind of stand out in a crowd. I feel like in general, industrial engineers, we are known for knowing exactly like how to fix problems. We're not just like coming up with a product idea and like starting like knowing just like the money side of it, but we really know like the logistics of it. That's why I wanted to go into industrial engineering just because I knew that after I left industrial engineering and got my degree, which I did, you guys, woo, I just graduated in May, so I am an, an industrial engineer now. Like, I really wanted to know the numbers part of it, the analytics part of it, the logistics part of it, really like the complete whole picture, not just necessarily the business portion, like not just marketing, not just advertising, stuff like that. I really wanted to understand the whole part of it and I just felt like that was the best major for me to go into. As for my personal classes, industrial engineering, I do believe 
don't like completely quote me on this, but I think industrial engineering is the engineering field that has the most females. My classes were probably 60% male, 40% female. It really didn't feel like a huge difference, honestly. Like it did, there was a difference, but I didn't feel like, oh my gosh, I'm the only girl in this class. Like I always had a couple of other ones. And so that's why I would say it's 60, 40. Also, in my classes, I feel like a lot of times since women are not commonly in engineering fields, you would think like, oh, did you get like discriminated against or was, did you feel like sexism in your classes? Me personally, I never felt that. I never felt like people looked down on me because I was a girl ever in any of my classes. So I want to make that clear that even if you're scared like, oh, people are going to judge me for, or people are going to like make fun of me or the guys aren't going to take me seriously in my classes, that never happened for me. I'm not saying it doesn't happen though. That might, if your story might be different than mine, but just my personal experience, I never felt any like people looked down on me because I was a but when I would tell people outside of my engineering classes like if I told people in my sorority if I told people in on YouTube you guys were so shocked a lot of you guys that I was in engineering or if I told like family friends or anything like that the reaction is the same across the board it's what like I didn't know you were in engineering wow that is so impressive like it's like that's great that you guys acknowledge like that's impressive, I guess. I think the reason why people have that reaction is because you think in your head, oh, you can't be a girl that likes fashion and makeup and does YouTube videos and also an engineer. Like, that's just not possible. I got so many comments from men on my videos, on my engineering related videos, that I must be failing my classes because there's no way I have time to do YouTube. I'm, how do I get sleep? Like, I'm in the library all day. Like, there's no way you could do YouTube videos or like, oh, you're just, like, people were even commenting, like, oh my gosh, like, this is why girls aren't successful in engineering fields, because of people like her, because I don't even know why they were saying that, or, like, some people were commenting, oh, well, don't say that you're in engineering, like, I wouldn't post this engineering video yet, because you haven't even graduated, and most girls I know don't ever end up graduating. What I'm trying to say is across the board, there's kind of like a shock. When a man says that though, or a guy, when he's like, oh yeah, I'm in engineering, I'm in computer science, people might still think, oh wow, great major, like super smart, good high paying job. But no one is shocked. Like I feel like people aren't like, what? Like you're in computer science? What? You're a guy that's in engineering? That's so shocking. For example, my boyfriend, he's a computer science major and People don't really bat an eye when he says that he's in computer science. It's just like, oh, wow, smart. It's n like, that's it. But it's not like, what, he's in that? Oh my God. And as for like the coursework and how hard it was for me personally, I also have talked about this in other videos, but I just want to say, yes, engineering is hard. For those of you that are scared that it's going to be too hard or stuff like that, like it is hard, whether you're a girl or a guy, like doesn't matter it's a hard major. You're gonna have to study, you're gonna have to manage your time. When people say I can't do YouTube and engineering, I'm just like, okay, well I did, so. <laughs> hard, but it's doable. Like, people think before they go into college, like, oh, they already shut themselves down just because it's hard. You guys can do it, trust me. There's a lot of studying and there's a lot of time, and I was not one of those people that was naturally, didn't have to study, I could just go in there and pass tests. I failed many tests, you guys. I struggled really hard. I would like sometimes I would study for like 12 hours the night the day before like literally like never left the library never saw the sunlight like I would and just get like food delivered to the library and then I had my degree and I have a job lined up after college in a consulting field which is what I wanted with the company that I wanted it pays off for it put in the time and you put in the effort you are smart enough like you, you definitely can do it and now I wanted to address those three stereotypes or those three main reasons why people don't go or why women don't go into engineering the first one is lack of female role models and I think that's true I am fortunate enough to have a mom that is also an industrial engineer so my mom graduated with a degree in industrial engineering and so did my dad and I liked it and that's what drew like made me have an interest in it I grew up never thinking it was weird that there was girls in engineering like never once did it cross my mind that I was like oh I'm a girl and I want to do engineering that's odd until people started acting like so shocked that I was doing it that's when I got that reaction because growing up my mom never made a big deal out of it she never was like 
I'm a female and I'm in engineering, like, oh my gosh, such a big deal. Like, she went to work, she did her thing, she graduated with her degree, and she encouraged me to do the same because if I, like, when I had a desire, she encouraged me to do that. Like, it was never like a, oh, I can't do that because of blank, you know? I was lucky to have that female role model. Many girls are not, and I would love to be that female role model. So many of you guys have commented, like, so many of you guys have DM'd me, commented, saying that I'm the reason why you guys were interested in engineering or, like, thank you for being a girl in engineering, like, showing me that I could do it, and I just want to say that means the absolute freaking world to me, and that is why I'm making this video, so I could be that woman for you. The next one is gender stereotyping, kind of like that reaction thing that I was telling you guys about, how when I do it, it's so crazy, and how when my boyfriend says that he's an engineer or in computer science, it's normal. Should be engineering should be just as much as an option for girls as it is like business or marketing or any or nursing or any other fields. Like, who cares? It's a literal. It's a job. Like that's what I don't understand. Like it's a job. Why is it weird that girls are in it? Like it's not like girls' brains are like smaller than guys, and we're like, stupid and ignorant, and like guys are so hot and mighty and smart. Like. Oh, I feel like that we should just like not think about anymore and I know that sounds like so easy to just be like oh don't think about it but like if you're worried about like oh I can't do it because I'm a girl just ask yourself why not and then you'll realize that oh wait no I can there's literally no reason why I can't and less family friendly flexibility and honestly I feel like I disagree with this Engineering is something that pays a lot more. STEM majors pay a lot more than other majors. So normally when you graduate with a degree in engineering, you get a high paying or well paying job. And if you want to have kids, you could hire, like put them in daycare or something. Another great thing is that engineering is one of those majors that you don't have to go to grad school. I just graduated and I got offered a job at a consulting company and it pays well and I don't have to go to grad school. Like if I want to go to grad school, sure I could, but like I don't have to and I still got offered a high paying job right after college, which I know many people are not lucky enough to have that happen. Like some people graduate in STEM fields and they can't find a job, but it's less likely statistically like you will find a job like you will find a high paying job if you look at the averages my mom had all four of us she has four kids and was still working her job and still spending time with us like we had grandparents that would take care of us during the day and stuff but I never like when I was at school she would be back an hour later you know so it wasn't that big of a deal. So yeah, I made this video to encourage you guys. I want to be that female role model and I want to encourage you and I want to answer any of your questions because there's literally no videos out there about women in engineering, which is crazy to me, especially from a YouTuber that does like makeup and fashion. So I would love to like reach a, my audience that like watches me for my makeup videos. I would love for any of you guys to be interested in this and to encourage your education and how important it is and that you can do it. So just in wanting to encourage any girls that might have a desire to go into STEM to do it, not let any of those things stop you. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and ask me any questions down below. I'd love to answer them and I'll see you guys next time.